Cool. So we will sit, we will keep the, the bolster here yeah? or the pillows. Just one, uh, one extra cushion or block here. Yeah? Okay, cool. So relax your legs. Yeah, cool. And we will turn around, we will lie down on the bolster as always. But we will keep the legs, if it's possible, we will keep the legs open, yeah, with your feet together. And in this position, if you feel uncomfortable, we will put extra blocks or pillows or blankets beneath your thighs, yeah, to make it a little bit more comfortable. If you are comfy without, Go ahead, yeah. So you ground the hips again, like we did on the sitting position, yeah. And then start to relax, but nice and long, yeah. So as you go into the bolster or the pillows, check that your spine is nice and long. Not forcing, eh? Just try to spread it and open the arms, but. Check if you can roll the shoulders away here. So the hands are facing up, the palms of the hands are facing up here. Check that you are comfortable on the lower back. Yeah? So before you relax, as much comfortable as you can. Nice and expanding, but comfortable. Try to stay with the inner thighs this way as much as you can, but at, again, not to a point that is painful here. Yeah? And whenever you need to release it, just extend the legs or bend the legs. But if you can stay a little bit longer here, and now in this position is more the idea of receiving here, yeah? to be receptive. That's why we open the legs. We are still working on the emotional body. The gesture of the open legs is like a receiving, allowing to receive. And you have all the spine supported. Your chest is nice and big open here. So it's all, your arms are nice and open. So it's all about allowing, it's all about receiving. So imagine here, still in that beautiful sacred place, safe place, your cocoon, receiving. Anything that you need in this present moment, or just a general idea of receiving a beautiful energy of any kind, of every kind of energy that you need. And just allow, yeah, allow yourself to receive. Imagine that you receive the energy for your physical body in all those spots that you need the most and you receive energy for your heart, for your mind. And imagine that you receive everything that you need. Yeah, imagine that this is a it's like a calling to a big kitchen, restaurant, that you order everything that you want to eat, energetically speaking. Imagine that you are placing your order now and you are receiving. You place your order and then you trust that the waiter will bring what you order. So imagine something like that. Just allow yourself there to receive. Knowing that you are safe. If you want to give the color to this work, remember Orange is the color of the emotional body. And yellow is the color of energy, joy. 
and you can transform your yellow in gold and that's the color of abundance and receiving. So imagine a beautiful gold cocoon around you as a gesture, as a commanding that everything that you need is coming your way easily and effortlessly right now. And then really gentle, we will move slowly to close your legs. Put your feet on the ground. We can move slowly your arms and expand your arms. And we will roll toward one side. Yeah, bending your legs Put in your thighs, put in your arms. Stopping for a moment in a position nice and round. And we will go to a sitting position. We will take the bolster or the pillow from behind. We will lie down on the floor, but keep your so we keep, um, we will keep the legs open, okay? So you keep, if you need support for your thighs, yeah? And if you don't need support for your thighs, anyway, have something close by, like a block or a, a cushion. And we will put this beneath your hips in the next pose, yeah? So first we will lie down on the floor. Take your time, so rounding the lower back. Remember the hips a little bit, tilting forward as we always, when we lie down, lengthen your spine and we put the legs open again. If you need, you put your support for the thighs. And then before we relax in this position, again, you ground your lower back, lengthen your spine, lengthen the back of the neck. Open your arms, yeah? Now you are more open because of the position that we did before, yeah? So your arms can really spread. Check that the shoulder blades are grounding on the floor and your shoulders are not tensing up, yeah? Your shoulders are away from your ears. Your shoulder blades pulling toward the floor. So of your feet together here. Opening legs, imagine again receiving. Keep receiving, keep allowing. Each breath out, you let go. You trust, you let go, you release. Trusting. And then on the breathing, you receive. Yeah? You are attracting, you are receiving. energy and everything that you need. And then slowly we will close the legs. We will put the feet, the sole of your feet on the floor, legs bending. 
And with that cushion or block that you have, you say beside you, you will put it beneath your hips, beneath your lower back. Yeah, so more on the sacrum, yeah, beneath your hips. And allow your body to surrender there. Yeah, so you let your hips, your lower back relax over the cushion or the bolster or the block. You keep the expansion on the chest, your arms nice and open and relax, yeah? You let your hips relax on that support. You let the back of the neck relax on the floor, your shoulder blades, and just let go, release, release, release. Each breath out, you are letting go. Receiving the support. And imagine your roots connecting with your feet, with the block or the pillows to your hips, your arms, your neck, your head are all grounding, receiving that energy that is coming from the planet into your roots. Imagine the energy flowing through, recharging your body, calming your mind, calming your heart and receiving a beautiful energy now of love and care. Yes, yeah, so imagine a beautiful pink light now, receiving, feeling your body, feeling the cocoon, feeling your sacred place, and imagine that is so much loving energy that you are receiving that is overflowing your body, overflowing the cocoon and filling your room, your house completely. And keeping the position, yes, yeah, you keep bathing in that pink light. We can go slowly if you feel to bring the legs up, we can go slowly with one and then the other or both. We can go like at first with knees toward the belly and then if you feel lifting the feet, the legs comfy, okay? We are not stretching hard here. It's nice and comfy. It's allowing the legs to go up, to relax, yeah? To also to have the legs soft so they can receive the energy as well. You are relaxing on your hips and imagine your whole body receiving the energy. You keep relaxing your shoulder blades, the back of the neck, your lower back. If you prefer having the knees bending, that's okay too, yeah, like a child, like a knees to the belly, yeah. Whatever is more comfy, more nicer. Ah, then slowly taking your time, we put the feet back to the floor and we will take the pillow or the block from beneath, relax your lower back on the floor and gentle, gentle bring your knees toward your belly and soften side to side. And from there, we roll toward one side to a spinal twist, gentle and unkind. Soften there.
and then slowly we go to the other side. And then coming back to the center, we go to Shavasana, yeah? So you can spread your legs or put the a bolster or the pillows beneath your knees, yeah, nice and open and comfy, 